Hey, hey, everyone. It is time for Twitter Scope. And I am Dawn Carter. Thanks again for hopping on. Hey, Darcy, good to see you. Thanks again for hopping on today. My name is Dawn Carter, and this is Twitter Scope. Daily Twitter tips, usually a lot quicker than they were yesterday. Oh, my gosh. They're usually about five minutes long. Want to welcome you here. My name is Dawn Carter. Oh, did I just show that? I think I just showed that. Don Carter, this is Twitter Scope, and we are going to be talking today about Twitter analytics, episode 51, Twitter analytics walkthrough. Why I want to share this with you, because again, Twitter Scope, the whole purpose of why I do these is to push back the veil of ignorance that surrounds Twitter one day at a time, one scope at a time, and you guys are helping me do that because you are giving me the questions. Um, I hear the questions from friends who have said, I've had this Twitter account and it's been sitting like an albatross around my neck. I don't know what to do um, to get it going. I'm a small business owner. I want to use it to connect with prospects and clients and make business connections, but I don't know how. So that's why we are here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Twitter analytics. and We're going to do a really quick Twitter analytics walkthrough. But before I do that, I have to give a shout out to the gals that brought this to my attention. Again, we're always talking about being generous here on Periscope and on Twitter. Without these two, I'm telling you, Subi Zimmerman, I get to even use my pointer, Subi Zimmerman and Bonnie L. Frank. In fact, I just hopped off of one of Bonnie's scopes. Take a screenshot of that if you guys want. Seriously, these two ladies are killing it in terms of being generous and passing on the information that they have on how they're using Periscope and Blab. Um, Sue is an Instagram queen expert. She's just amazing. So follow those guys. Um, go ahead and share out this scope if you'd like to. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And uh, we are going to get started on this really quick Twitter analytics walkthrough. Hey, Jeremy, I want you guys to be comfortable um, because honestly, it doesn't matter how long you've been on Twitter. I just learned about Twitter analytics and I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not stupid. I was just uninformed. And yes, those are my dogs wrestling. I'm so sorry about that. Let me flip this around. Hey, let me flip this around. Darcy, thanks so much for sharing that. And let me flip this around. And I've even got my other... Yeah, so you can even see my dogs fighting back there. This is just embarrassing, but you know what? This is, this is part of the, the charm of live streaming, right? It's watching people get, uh, get, their, get their tripod set up. Sorry about that. You guys got to see the clutter mess of my desk. There we go. I don't know if that's exactly straight, but there we go. You guys can see that, right? There we go. Let me go ahead and maybe scooch that back a tad, and I want you guys to see the full screen. There we go. So what we are going to do is I'm going to literally just show you what they showed me. I'm going to go up here to my profile. So I want you guys to be able to do this on your own profiles. Go ahead and click on your profile and you can see where it says all these things. Yesterday we actually went over lists, right? So today I'm just going to click on this thing called analytics. People, I didn't even know this was here. That's how random I can be. Here we go. So what I want to show you really quick is, this is just a little, and don't worry about the actual numbers because guys, that, that's irrelevant. What I want you to know is the information you can get. You can get the number of tweets you sent, the number of impressions, how many people visited my profile, how many at mentions, and don't worry if it's green or red, that's just comparing it to the previous month, who cares about that? Follower counts, and then the tweets that were linking to you. So the cool thing about this, guys, let me just show you like how my month of, let's just say how the month of February went. And please, if you have questions or if I'm going too fast, please use the comments. That's why we use the lovely Periscope because we can do that. So my top tweet, which earned this many impressions was, I was, you can see here that I was on H2H chat, which is human to human chat, Brian Kramer's fabulous weekly Twitter chat. We've talked about Twitter chats. Let's go ahead and see what made this my top tweet for the month. So I'm going to go ahead and click on tweet activity right here. And this is the kind of juiciness that you can find. And I really, really want you guys to go in and take a look at your own Twitter. You need to understand what's working, what's not working. But more importantly, that was a great chat, wasn't it? I mean, I, I really, I can't, I'd never even heard of literati. But again, again, does this not show why it's important to be on Twitter chats? Because this ended up being my highest top tweet because I was where there were a lot of people that know what the heck they're doing on Twitter. And I happened to contribute 
something to the conversation. So you got to kind of analyze, put your anal like your scientific detective hat on with your own tweets. I tweeted out, there's a huge opportunity to collaborate with existing neighborhood groups and literati, which is this fabulous organization that gives, you basically take pictures of your trash that you pick up before you recycle it and then uh, tag it with this tag and um, with a hashtag and then put, they post them to Instagram. It's just genius, genius stuff. Anyway, go catch the replay on H2H. Top engagement. So this was the total impressions. I had 12 engagements five retweets of this simple thing. And again, all I did, I'm not a genius, folks. All I did was I went to a chat and added something of value. It got picked up and retweeted. Had three likes, detail expands, and one. So I'm not gonna dwell on that because who cares about my tweets that get caught. I want you guys to put on your detective hat and see what your top tweet was for the last your last month. This will give you insights. Go, wow, what made it a top tweet? Can I do that again? I wanna do that again. Here's another one. Top mention was by fabulous, fabulous Gabriel Cardoza. Oh, define impressions. That's a good, that's a very, very good question. And I, you know, my understanding, and again, I'll have to spend some more time on that. If you don't know what any of these words mean, impressions means how many timelines did this show up on? That's what my understanding is. And it could not be the case, but uh, Darcy, you go uh, investigate that and, and we'll, we'll bring this up on the next one. Has 12 total engagements. So engagements, again, are actual physical interactions where people, you know, they either retweeted or like there was a physical interaction. Impressions just mean how many potential uh, people saw this. And I think they get that based on the, um, the time of day and who's, um, whose timelines you showed up on. But let's let's investigate. That's a very very good a very good question. I actually don't usually care about impressions because just because something shows up on someone's timeline doesn't mean that their eyeballs saw it. To me, an engagement is much more important than an impression because that means someone's eyeballs. It, it verifies that there was there were eyeballs on. If that makes sense. So um, again, so these are this is another thing that I wanted to show you is that each month this was for January. This is for. Um, you know, again, here's another example of a top tweet. You can take a look at the activity. Yeah, engagement is key. That to me is going to be, so honestly, people will say, hey, I had 6,000 impressions. It, you know what? The, the statistical probability that all the eyeballs of everyone's um, streams or everyone's Twitter followers were on at that exact moment, I don't think is very realistic. So I don't care about that. Me, I care about this. I care about how many people, um, expanded because that meant their eyeballs were on how many people liked how many clicked and how many retweets that is good so again put your detective hat on this is your homework guys i want you to put your detective hat on and take a look at what tweets got you the most activity where were you when you did that tweet what were you talking about what was your content you know and then also um just kind of just analyze it with your own eyeballs. And I, so here's one that was, what was the tone? Was it something funny? Here I am, it's just expressing gratitude, ridiculous. I wasn't even saying anything profound, but it was around a couple conversations that I was involved in. So that's what one of the things I want you to do. So I want you to analyze your top tweets because you've discovered this fabulous tool. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to take a look at your media. I want you to take a look at top media tweets. So these are going to be things that are either videos or pictures. And what I want you to do is understand the power of using pictures gives you a lot more retweets and it gives you more interactivity. Here was another one, um, a picture of someone who was doing fabulous stuff in Dublin. She tweeting goddess. If you're not following her, she's another good one, folks. Um, again, take a look at what you posted. Here's another one, did a simple screenshot of a blab that I was on. So again, these end up being my top media tweets. So what can we learn from that? Go ahead and do things that um, get, well, I like to call it velocity. In other words, it doesn't just show up. It's not a one and done. It goes on and then it gets a little, it has a little more lifespan. So um, pictures, videos, fabulous things about that. So again, I want you to take a look at your tweets. I want to take you, you to take a look at your media you're using and then your top followers. This top mention, so this is Tristan down in Australia. 
he was my top mention. He's mentioned me a ton of times. I've been on a couple of blabs that he's done, but the reason why you want to know your top mention and the people that are engaging the most is so that you can thank them. You want to interact. Something as ridiculous as saying, hey, Tristan, saw that you were my top mention back in November, and I just want to thank you for passing along what you find valuable. Let me know what else you know, would be valuable. Just whatever, you guys use your creativity. So. I hope that that, are there any other questions? I think that is really, you go in and take a look at your own analytics, take a look at who is engaging with you. This is just one of the tools. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Easier said, okay. Um, this is just one of the free tools. And you guys know me, I'm all about the free. You don't have to pay for this. Just like fullscope.tv, I'm gonna I may go ahead even though that's, well, that's more Periscope. This is Twitter tips. I'm trying to get you to activate your Twitter account. I may do a separate scope about the stuff I'm learning about using other analytics. But go ahead, folks, dive into your own analytics. I would love, love, love to hear what you find out. Those analytics offer lots of clues of what's making an impact. Exactly. Use, if, I mean, Darcy, use Twitter scope, um, hashtag Twitter scope, and let me know what you found out. Remember, it's put on your detective cap, read it, take a look and go, you know what? What is something you can find out that you didn't know before? That's the only thing that matters. It doesn't have to be huge numbers. Hey, Stacy, good to see you. Doesn't have to be huge numbers. Who cares about numbers? It's about what is working for you and optimizing it and tweaking it and making sure that what you're doing right, you do more of. What you're doing wrong, you do less of, right? That's, we want to work, as Madeline Sklar says, work smarter, not harder. So if you find out anything, guys, use the hashtag Twitter scope. And I would love to find out what did you discover? What did you find out about your own users? I found out that a rapper followed me. Why would a rapper follow me? I do not know. Quality over quantity, I know exactly. But that's why things like, there, I, I didn't even go over you know, who your top, you know, the biggest followed user that followed you. I could care less because for some reason, random people with millions of followers will follow me. Who cares? Well, no, not because I'm cool. No, because I have no idea why. But it, it's just going to be like they were trying to follow someone and their finger slipped. And it's like, oh, let's follow Descartes. She talks about Twitter all the time. I don't know. But I don't know why on earth a rapper would follow me. But so someone has three million followers and they follow you. Who cares? I want to know who's engaging, who's interacting, who am I bringing value to? Because to be honest, you know, they don't, they don't know me from Adam. So, well, helpful, yeah. So that would be good. I, I highly doubt that some rapper with 3 million <laughs> followers thinks I'm helpful, but he probably has people to do that. You know, his people think I'm helpful. I don't know, they might not even know who I am. Now I'm rambling, you guys. Follow me every day for Twitter scope. Thank you so much, Darcy and Jeremy and Stacy and folks that are hopping on every single day. Uh, most likely it's an automated follow by keyword and that is exactly what, yeah. That's why, don't get freaked out or excited. Just just let it go. Oh, that's an interesting fact about you. You follow me. <laughs> just like, like approach it with that. Don't You don't need to get all crazy about uh, followers. When someone with a large follower account follows you, just go, hmm, that's really, that's interesting because the chances are that they're gonna engage with you, probably not that great. I'm here to get you we can all uh, get better with engaging with the actual real people. So good morning. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> Catch the replay. We talked about Twitter analytics. I showed you three places that you can take a look at your top tweet, your top media. And um, I want you to have, be equipped with ideas that you can do more of what works. I follow you because you're cool. Well, that, well, that Stacy is, is very gracious, but if you ask my kids, they will tell you the opposite. So, uh, bragging about who's following you is no bueno. I agree. I agree. I, and, and honestly, like I said, impressions. So you get some astronomical impression number for some month. Who cares? Impressions means the, if it means the potential timelines that you've hopped on to, who cares? I don't care about potential. Oops. Um, apparently my dogs don't care either. I care about who's retweeting me, who's mentioning me, who's viewing me. That means engagement. Engagement. I'll take engagement any day over big, big impressions. I'm tired of all the company follows want to talk to real people. Exactly. Is that not, is, do we not all think that? It's like, yeah, company, great. I'm glad your logo followed me. Let's engage with the logo. No, you need to be talking to the real people. So catch this replay. This is going long. Um, I am absolutely love, love, loving the questions you guys are sending me. 
questions on Twitter scope or remember homework. If you go onto your Twitter, if you go onto your Twitter analytics and you learn something, you find out something, you put on your detective cap and go, oh my gosh, I took a look at what my number one most retweeted tweet for last month was. I analyzed what I said, where I said it, who I said it to, and the tone. You tell me what you find out and I will, will give you a shout out. Okay, I will talk to you guys later and I will see you later. And I will stop this and I, I actually can stop it quickly. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.